Good morning, you guys. I know I look like a mess. Um, I woke up and I decided uh, I'm gonna take a pregnancy test. It's 70 PO, so it is way too early to be testing. I understand, okay? Because I know you guys are gonna be in my comments. You're testing too early. You need to wait a few more days. I get it, it's too early to test, but I just feel the need to take a test this morning and it's super early. I just was like, I gotta, I'm just gonna test, okay? And then <laughs> I was gonna just not record it and just test it for my own sanity. But I know that many of you wanna watch these tests and I feel like it's wrong of me to just take a test by myself and not share it with you guys when I have been sharing everything else with you guys so it's gonna be a short video so i'm gonna dip these tests for you guys i was able to go to the store yesterday and grab a few pink dye tests so i at least have some for this cycle and then i might have to order some more depending on how often i take them but i don't think i'm gonna take a first response today i think i'm gonna wait and then Tomorrow for 8 DPO, I might take a clear blue and a first response, okay? So let me dip these tests really fast and then I will show you guys. So that is the easy at home. It's the clear blue. So clear blue is working. Stick it back in here. I know my lighting in this bathroom is complete crap and I apologize, but I did not feel like getting myself together and then going in my office and filming for you guys. I was just trying to hurry up and film this morning. That way I can just get out of my system and I'll know. And I'll look at these tests right here and then I will know is there something there? Is there not something there? And then I'm gonna go get ready and start my day. I don't have any update to share with you guys. Nothing has changed from yesterday. So I will just see you guys when my tests are done loading. It's been about four-ish minutes. So the Easy at Home might not be done loading yet, but I'm just going to look at them. And then if the Easy at Home needs to load more then I can look at it again in a few more minutes but let me show you guys the easy at home first yeah it looks blank okay now the clear blue. It's like really dark. Definitely going to have to take pictures. This is like a I think this might have an evap line. Like, ooh. I'm gonna have to take a picture. It's too dark for you to see, but yeah. Dude. Looks like there might be an, like an evap line on this. It doesn't. I don't think any color in it, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna add a picture here. I, I kept trying, I keep trying to show you guys, but I don't think you can see it when I hold it there. But I'm going to take a picture of it, put it on the screen. It's just like really weirdly placed on here. So I think it might just be an evap line. It is 7 DPO, so it's super early, but I also could be totally off. I did not track very well this cycle, so who knows what this means, right? Like, 
most likely it's just an evap line because it looks really funny to show you guys i cannot find a test that i like love anymore i'm just i'm not a fan of any tests like no nothing nothing makes me feel confident anymore what test do you guys like like i, I want to buy something that i feel like is actually going to give me true lines and not emap lines and i don't want to do what i did last cycle where i thought i saw something i mean you guys thought there was something there so i just i don't know if last cycle was a chemical pregnancy or if there were just evap lines but like evap lines on a lot of tests like are these tests just like crap now like i don't know okay so I guess this is the issue with testing at 7 DPO. Alrighty. I'll see you guys tomorrow for 8 DPO.